Meisel just published a new Smart Trade terminal and I've been testing it for quite some time. I gotta say it's pretty damn amazing. You should definitely use it. But let's take a look at it by creating a new position and then going through the entire process step by step. So first of all, a smart trade is not like your usual trade that you do, for example, directly on your exchange like Binance, but it manages your entire trade by setting up multiple take profits, multiple stop losses, or you can even do multiple entries. You don't have to go into too much advanced settings and have multiple entries, multiple take profit, but it's just a very nice tool to set up your entire trade, see how it plays out and to manage all the positions on the smart trade terminal. First things first, what we have to define is if we want our order types to be limit or market. In this case, I'm going to go for limit orders. Order size, you have to decide if you want to go long or short. Of course, if you go for long, then you're first buying at the lower price and then selling at the higher price. Whereas with short, you're first selling at a higher price, and then buying back later at a cheaper price, making also a profit. You have to select on which exchange the smart trade should be executed. In this case, I'm going to go for my paper trading account. And you have to define which pair should be traded. I'm going to go for USDT and Bitcoin. Now, what this will show you is it will pull up a trading view chart, just like if you go to a separate website and open trading view, but it's now fully integrated into Mizar. You can add all your favorite indicators. You can do your entire technical analysis directly on Mizar and set up your trade. You can do everything via the smart trade terminal. So the first thing on the trade that we have to define is our entry. Now we can either do a single entry where we only buy once into the position or we can set up multiple entries where we enter multiple times into the position and try to make use of a dollar cost averaging. If we only do a single entry, then on the total we can define how much we want to buy in total. In this case, I'm just going to go for 100 USDT. And we can also specify the exact price where the order should be executed. Now, instead of entering the price manually, what you can also do is drag around the entry on the chart, which just makes it way more convenient than entering the price manually. Instead of using a single entry, we could also switch over to using multiple entries. Now, in this case, the entry cost still defines our total trade size. So in this case, I want to have $100 in total, but I will split the $100 into four different entries. Now, if you click on the fill button, what will happen is that the weight, which defines how much is being bought on each entry, is equally split among all the entries. In this case, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can drag around all the different entries that I want to have. And then with the weight, I can define how much of the $100 should be bought on every entry. In case if I click fill, then 25% which is $25, will be bought on each entry and the average price will be exactly the average of all those four prices. Now you can, of course, also change your weight. So maybe on the way down, you want to buy more and you can simply do it like this. You can see in the higher entries, we're buying less and in the lower entries, we're buying more. So in total, our average entry is done more than it was before. After defining all the entries, you can define your take profit in this case, you can do a fixed take profit where you also just enter a fixed price where the entire position will be closed. Or you can also define multiple take profits, which works the same as with the entries. So in this case, I just made four take profits and on each take profit, 25% of my entire trade will be closed. Now, of course, the value in dollars that will be closed is dependent on how many entries have been filled. Since every entry is $25 big, let's say only the first entry is filled and then it reaches the first take profit, then only 25% of those $25 will be closed. But if all entries are filled first and then it goes up to the first take profit, then 25% of the entire $100 will be closed. So again, on a take profit, the weight is simply a percentage of your total trade size, which of course is dependent on how many entries have been filled. Instead of using a fixed price or dragging a take profit around, you can also set up percentage take profits. So I can say I want to close at 5%, I want to close 25% of my position, then at 10, at 15, and at 20%. And then every time a take profit is hit, you will close 25% of my entire account. Last but not least, you can also set up a trailing take profit. But the way that this works is that the threshold is the take profit that you're looking for. 
and that as soon as the stake profit is hit, the position will not be immediately closed, but it will be trailed with the trailing deviation. So if I set up a 1% trailing deviation and the price goes up to my take profit, then from this point on, it will trail it with a 1% deviation. And as long as the price keeps increasing, my deviation will also keep increasing. This allows you to ride the trend as long as possible, maximizing your profit and not exiting the trade too soon. Now, of course, on every trade, what you also need to have is a stop loss. Of course, you can also disable it, but on most trades, I don't recommend it. And just like the take profit, you can either set up a fixed take profit or you simply enter the price where you want the position to be closed or drag and drop it around on the chart. And just like with take profits, you can set up multiple stop losses. In this case, I set up two stop losses and on each stop loss, I want to close 50% of my entire position. Now with stop losses, there is also an option to set the stop loss to the average price, which sets your stop loss to your average position price after the first take profit has been hit. So if you look at this trade, then let's say it fills all the entries and then goes up to my take profit, which closes 25% of $100 because I activated the set stop loss to average price. What will then happen is that the stop loss will be moved up to my average entry price, which means that if now the price goes down to my stop loss, the stop loss executes, closes my trade, but I don't make any loss on the stop loss because it's the same as my average price. But overall, the trade made me a profit because I already closed in profit right up here. So we've set stop loss to average price. This basically allows you to reduce your risk after already hitting a first take profit because then the trade can never close in a loss. It can only close in a profit. Now, after setting up the entire trade, you can click here right on trade, which will give you an overview of all the settings that you've chosen again. And then you can click on confirm, which will place your order. And you can then go to positions to have an overview of all the open smart trades. Now, what you can see on the smart trade overview is this performance. Now, how this graph works is that below the graph, you can see all your take profit and your stop losses. And above the graph, you can see all your buy orders. And the blue line within the graph shows you where the current price is at. If you want to have more details on your smart trades, you can simply click on the arrow to the left right here, and it will show you an overview of the entire smart trade. In this case, let's have a look at this trade down here. We can see that I opened the smart trade on BNB USDT on my Binance Paper Trading account. I have a total of 10 entries. Now of those 10 entries, only the first entry has been executed. So right now my position is $99.74 big. The other entries have not been hit yet, so they are all planned. That means that Miser is managing these trades internally, which means these trades have not been placed as limit orders right now in the order book. But as soon as the price is hit, Miser will then place the trade in the order book. You can see down here that take profits are not planned, but they're already placed. In this case, I have chosen on this smart trade to close 10% of my entire trade whenever I take profit target is hit. And because my entire trade is only $99 big right now, it will only close 10% of the $99. In this case, of course, it says $11, but that's because if the price goes up to my take profit, the value of my overall position will also increase. So if the price were to go further down and fill more entries, the take profits will update to always close 10% of the entire position. And then down here, we can also see that I've placed a stop loss at $180, which is also planned. After opening a smart trade, we also have the option to edit all the settings that we made on it. In this case, since entries have already been executed, the only thing that we can edit is a take profit and the stop loss settings. If there was no order on your trade executed, then instead of only changing the take profit and stop loss, you can also change the order settings like this. So on this trade, if we look at it, then all three orders, which is the entry, take profit, stop loss, are all planned. None of them have been placed or executed. That's why I'm still able to edit all the entry settings as well. Instead of editing a smart trade, what we can also do is go ahead and copy the smart trade 
which will simply copy all the settings that we defined into a new smart trade. If we want to manually cancel or close this trade, we can go ahead and close the trade, which will basically cancel all the orders and then sell the position at the current market price and cancel will only cancel all the orders and will then leave the position open. It's just not managed by Miser anymore, but it's managed by you. And last but not least, we can also check out the smart trade history. So the smart trade history will just give us an overview of our entire history again. Smart Trade Terminal is a great additional feature that you can now also use besides trading bots on Miser. Now, if you don't have a bot running already on Miser, then check out this video right here.